वेलकम दिस इज बिलाल सा वेलकम टू बिलाल सा एडवांस एक्सेल ट्यूटोरियल लर्न एम एस एक्सेल विद बिलाल सा स्टाइल सिंपल शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट दिस इज माई ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ लेक्चर टूडे आई विल टीच यू टू क्रिएट सैलरी स्लिप इन एम एस एक्सेल टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन फॉर दिस लेक्चर यू मस्ट हैव टू लर्न माई टू प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स शीट टू शीट वी लुकअप एंड एडवांस सैलरी सैलरी शीट here i already created my salary sheet and i already created here my salary slip you can create more type of salary slips as per you want it's just an example of salary slip now i want if i type here my employee id so fill all the details automatically like employee name designation overtime absent and hra tada pfpt all things so i'll use here the vlookup function first write type the employee id which is in the salary sheet e001 it should be match now in the employee name field i'll type i'll apply here a vlookup function lookup value is my employee id table array is my whole salary sheet data to so select it in the column index number I want to type here the column number of my employee name. My employee name column number is two, so I'll type here two. In the range lookup, I'll type here zero, and I'll say okay. For designation, I will use vlookup again. Lookup value, same employee ID, table array, same select whole salary sheet data. The column index number of designation is three, so I'll type here three. The range lookup should be zero. Right. Calculating over time, I'll again go in the V lookup, select the employee ID, select the whole sheet, and then column index number of over time is. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So I'll type here six, and range lookup should be zero. Over time is one, I think so. Right. For absent days, I'll again follow the V lookup. The lookup value is employee ID, table arrays, my whole table. The column number of absent days is one, two, three, four, five, five. And the uh, range lookup should be zero. Right. For current month salary, uh, again follow the V lookup function, lookup value, and then table array. The current month salary column number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And I'll type here zero. All right. Decrease the decimal. For HR, I again go for the V lookup, lookup value, the table array. The number is eight, and type zero. For traveling allowances. Lookup value, my table array number is nine and zero. Wait a moment. We look up. Lookup value is table array is select sheet one whole data. Uh, it's my mistake. Select. With the whole data with employee ID and nine 
by 0 right now again select the VLOOKUP table array with employee ID number 10 and the 0 for PF we look up a look up value a table array PF number is uh, 11 12 12 12 and 0 for PT the lookup value the table array with employee ID and then is 13 0 right now I don't have PF account number ESI number and income tax number so I am not filling this that's why I type here the not available or not available or not available now the total earning to find total earning simply sum the current month salary to DA to find total deduction simply sum the PF and PD to finding net amount simply equal to total earning minus total deduction to calculating amount in word I will show you in the next lecture so let's check it out it's working or not I'll type here 004 enter is school server designation is PA personal assistant and over time is 4 apps and raises all let's check it out 4 is school server over time is 4 apps and raises 3 9000 current month salary is uh, um, 8367 right that's it. Thanks for watching.